as the Wild got an empty netter and beat San Jose three to one. And we are underway. Afternoon game, Easter holiday weekend. Bogosian past Zuccarello. Hartman head to the ship, shoot in. And Minnesota will try to change some players, but they get the turnover and the rocket shot right on. Yeah, John Hines has to be happy with his group so far. The chances that they've created, getting the puck in deep, getting in on the four check, not allowing Vegas any time. And that's Brock Faber, the standout rookie, on it for the Wild. Matt Boldy, cross ice. That shot right on. Thompson makes the save. Juicy rebound. Nobody was home. Kaprizov, that scoring opportunity. This top line out for Minnesota. Barbashev goes across for Eichel. Working on favor. Hits the brakes. Good puck possession there. Floater towards the front of the net. Gustafson will kick it to the corner. He'll get the return feed dangerously in front of his own net. Headman pass on side. Paul Cotter got in there on the shot and a save. A huge first save for Thompson. He had to be really sharp. And then Vegas gets a chance of their own welcome back. To the right of Philip Gustafson, won cleanly by Letary. And he'll rim it around too far away for a while to get back to it. Back behind the net, there's Wah. For William Carlson. Broken up nicely. Here's Bogosian leading the rush. Glances one off the boards nicely. Cutting in is Hoffman. The shot, and there's contact on Logan Thompson. Both players down in the heat. And this crowd still reacting to that penalty call now. Here's Marcia so has a shooting lane. Let's it go through the traffic. And Gustafson made the stop. Rebound to Vegas. Theodore got it all the way across. There's Eichel. Back for Theodore. Eichel, they play catch. Goudreau out to meet him. Eriksson Ek. Amis penalty kill for the Wild. Eichel dancing. Good job, Minnesota. Keeping Vegas to the perimeter. Loose puck in front. Scramble for it. Back to Theodore. Here's Eichel. That shot. Left hand save. Gustafson. This unit will stay on. 40 seconds left. The man advantage. Eichel centers off a skate. Marcheseau rescues it. March so for Hannafin, that one time a left hand save, and the rebound kicked away. For the Golden Knights who have been ravaged by injuries to high end players, turned over. Here's Marcus Johansson trying to pull away, and at the end, McNabb got a stick and altered the shot. Could have been a great scoring chance for the Wild. Chisholm quick out. Johansson. Try to feather it through, in front, backhand, hits the post! Defense, it's tougher. Yes, exactly. And here's some chances for the Minnesota Wild, and we talked about this third line earlier. Johansson, and he wanted a penalty. He thought that stick got up into the hands. He might have had a point, and again, this line comes right back down the ice. They create another really good, another culture guy. Yep. Right, another culture guy, a winner, keep him around. Can't have enough for those guys. Off the end boards and out in front. And Thompson had to be ready for that one. Thompson is at long stretches with no action. Had to be ready for that. Yeah, and this is one thing. Thompson does play deep in his net. And, of course, he's going to stay in his net because it's rimmed up around the glass. You never know which bounce you're going to get. And look at the bounce that he did get. It goes off his defender in Hannafin. And because he's deep, he's able to... But the Wild winning 58% and having Eriksson Ek back for his second game after injury is a big help in that regard. You know, and for context, Cass, like, I don't know how many face-offs the average for a period. Who's Cassidy fortunate to have eight healthy defensemen now. And he says he's got two or three guys rumbling at him every game, and that's kind of a good thing. He likes that. And across the line. Nice move, Chisholm got the shot to the net, scramble for it. Nothing, it looks like Vegas is all back, everyone's got their man, and he just drives the puck wide, his head up the whole time, watch this little deception, puts it through the leg, up against Martinez, and just gets this to net. Martinez with a nice stick there late. There's not much room there, we see so many of the players these days shoot from that angle. Shot, Gustafson will stick it aside. Theodore. Stevenson in front, Carlson bangs at it, loose puck, save Gustafson, scramble for it, and Gustafson makes another 
huge save there. Just two huge saves. Watch this move by William Carlson. He gets it out and then brings it to the middle and almost banks it off Gustafson trying to get it to March or so. Gustafson does a nice job fighting through traffic, making sure he can cover it. He loses it initially there, but what a push from his left to his right to make that save. The sunshine was out here in St. Paul. Of course, the snow is still out on the street, but the sun is out. And Vegas looking to break in. That shot is glove. How about Gustafson? Uh, Nick. To the left of Philip Gustafson. Off the face-off, hits the iron! Gustafson never even moved. It was behind him. Well, the Wild had Petrangelo and McNabb out there for almost two minutes. And they just couldn't find a way to get the puck's net. That last chance by Hartman hits Goudreau in front. Stung him a little bit. Here's Boldy. But Kaprizov, he's in. That shot, they score! Boldy to Kaprizov, a power play goal! And the Wild strike first, one nothing Minnesota! And who else but Kaprizov, 34 points on the power play this season. A nice little kick back to him, and then he just drives the middle of the ice. He just separates the defenders for Vegas, creates a two-on-one on Haig, and then just a beautiful finish on Thompson. He, as you say, got away with one. The non-call on Kaprizov, and, and so Vegas types will be grumbling even more that not only did he get away with one, but he then scores the goal, gets it across. That shot is blocked. Boldy, really nice shot block. Matt Boldy is so impressive. Center, Barbashev, oh, great stop there. Gustafson, the blocker save on Barbashev. For Hartman. Middleton will come over. Away from Cotter. Headman pass with some speed here. Stevenson makes the pass, shot the score. Chandler Stevenson sets up Michael Amadio with 6-17 to go in regulation. And we're tied at one. from the D zone by Vegas. I mean, just the stretch pass to Stevenson. He's got all kinds of time. He recognizes, you know, Amadio screaming the whole way. I'm coming, I'm coming to create this two on one. And Faber almost gets this pass across with his right skate. But what a finish there by Amadio after Gustafson had just made the save of the game. Mantha, drop pass through everybody. This feels like three on three overtime. Here's Zuccarello, they're onside. Zuccarello got it, the cross pass, shot stopped. Chaos in the crease. Imagine him getting his 40th of the season for Vegas. And that'll do it. To help you. 100%. You gotta have two. You gotta go for it. So the goalie's in for now, we'll keep an eye. We'll start three on three. The Minnesota Wild going for it here. Boldy, Kaprizov, Zuccarello shot stop. Carlson, Vegas gets to it. The empty net, and it goes. Jonathan Marcheseau, what a way to get his 40th goal. Vegas is going to get the two points. And Minnesota will lose the loser point as well. Still like Min going down. If you're going to go down, go down with a fight. And they had tired Vegas players out there. The bounce on the rebound from Thompson. He does a nice job making sure it gets to Carlson rather than a Minnesota Wild player. And Vegas, the experience shows up. I mean, Marchessault is not going to miss from there. You know, wide open net. He's going to make sure it's right through the center. And there's where Gustafson leaves the ice as Minnesota sets it up on the other end. And there'll be all kinds of talk about this, but I, I think it's a gutsy call by John Hines. I liked it versus Nashville, and I still like it here versus Vegas. It doesn't work out, but it shows your team that you've got some fight left. I mean, listen, they're they're well back in this playoff race. They got to go for it. Well, we showed coming into the game that they had a 2% chance of making the playoffs.